Good morning from Sisimut, Greenland. We have made it. This is the second stop on our tour, the workshop, the photography expedition adventure. And uh, it is also a brand new location. Of course, if you missed the first video, neither Brendan or I have been to Greenland before. And this is a huge bucket list destination for me. So throughout this video, we're gonna be exploring this amazing coastal seaside town and uh, hopefully finding some awesome photos as we go. And it all starts right now. Let's go. I got the uh, the 24 to 105 on, so it's a bit tight. But look at this uh, GT racer that Tom's checking out from behind me here. This reminds me very much of my childhood back in Canada. Pretty certain uh, my dad would love seeing a picture of that. We had probably at least two or three of those at the house for me and my sisters to play on when we were kids. And if you don't know what this is, this is a um, it's a snow kind of toy toboggan where you had you know the front ski and then obviously two skis to uh, create balance and you could uh, control the front ski and we used to take them on like tobogganing hills and uh, even like ski hills and they're so much fun so yeah bit of a uh, Canadian history there for you of, of at least my childhood and it's so cool to see that here in Greenland and for uh, for all you winter kids out there I'm sure you recognize that It is a beautiful sunny afternoon here in Sisimute. We've uh, explored a bit of the town and how awesome are these houses, hey? This place is uh, a dream to photograph. It is uh, a very colorful town with a uh, pretty intense history as well. The town has about 5,000 people here. That's the population and uh, it is the second biggest town in Greenland. Greenland has an overall population of about 50,000 people with Nook being the capital. Nook is 350 kilometers south from here in Sisimute. And this place has been sort of a, a whaling station historically and also a bit of an Inuit settlement when the Inuit would live here maybe during the winter time and then during the summertime, they were mostly a nomadic people, you know, traveling along the coast and going inland to hunt reindeer, etc. But this has been uh, sort of a settlement obviously for probably, uh, well, the last hundreds of years, definitely going back probably thousands of years. And one uh, example of that is this historic center right behind me. This is actually the uh, the museum of Sisimute and it's kind of like a living museum. There's a, a number of different buildings and you can see that archway just behind me. That is two uh, jaw bones of a whale. And then the blue church, this beautiful building there, that was built in 1775 and is the oldest church in Greenland. So education for you right at the beginning of our second video here in Greenland. I hope you found all of that really uh, inspiring no interesting that's what i'm looking for now it's time to hit the inspiration and go and see if we can find some awesome photographs with this amazing light
said, it seems like wind is a very common theme on our last few videos, including the last Iceland series. But we made it to the coast here. See that giant iceberg way off into the harbor in the distance and this beautiful mountain that looks so much like uh, Table Mountain in Cape Town with that cloud on top of it. This, I think, is where we want to be. The group is just kind of catching up to me. You can see Brennan down there. And funny enough, this, um, this kind of coastal trail is one that you can follow outside of Sissimute on what's called the island, which is actually connected by land. You can walk here and uh, it's a very good tourist trail and they've got these signs kind of marking areas of the, uh, the coastal trail. And if you can see these mounds behind me, I just read a sign saying that these are actually like typical Greenlandic uh, winter dwellings, similar to what is at the museum in town that I just sort of talked about in this video. And these are, uh, you know, remnants of what, what once was uh, sometime between like the seven, early 1700s and mid 1700s. So very, very cool to see that. I mean, I would just see them as mounds in the ground, but they are indeed old uh, Inuit winter dwellings. So let's see if we can get a cool composition on the iceberg and that beautiful mountain in the background. Definitely, definitely a great time lapse. Just got possibly the best like travel photo of this trip and we're only on the fourth day. I think that uh, this iceberg way off in the distance and uh, the dark background, which is a really important point for photography actually, having something that is in sort of your foreground or your mid ground that's catching some side light with a dark background really helps create separation and depth between that subject. And then we had Brendan in his yellow jacket on that cliff line that you can see just under my finger here. And he was standing out there. And luckily from uh, the Iceland trip, I got us some walkies so I could communicate with him to, uh, to sort of give him directions to go up and down the cliff and to stay still to try and get the photo with the long lens. And it is an absolute banger. Best shot. I've taken in quite a while for travel photography. So uh, I'm sure this will feature in Brendan's video as well, but this is just something else. Next level here in Greenland, Sissimute on the coast of the island trail at sunset, next level. All right, and it is about 10.30 p.m. now. The sun has gone down below the horizon and we are making our way back to the hotel. And that was a, a fantastic first evening in Sissimut. And I thought I was gonna extend this video by a couple of days, but I feel like we've got such a, a good introduction to this town and I've been able to share a bit of information with you about the town. And uh, hopefully if you're interested, you know, you can check it out and, and Google image uh, Sissimut. But I do think that the uh, iceberg that we just saw there in the harbor and the uh, the amazing light was a really unique photo opportunity and one that we weren't expecting. So that's a great example of the adventure photography workshops that uh, Brendan and I are leading and trying to uh, share with you guys this style of travel photography, mixing in obviously landscapes and wildlife. But travel is something that uh, 
that is very dear to me. I studied adventure tourism. You know, I absolutely love the travel industry and working within it. And it's how I met my German girlfriend, Nelly, and uh, one of the reasons that I live in Europe. So having the opportunity to come here and uh, test those skills with travel photography is, uh, is really unique, especially in a place that we've never been to before, which is really, really cool. So I hope you're enjoying these adventures. I'm gonna keep this vlog going in Sissimute for the next two days. And depending on the weather and the opportunity, I think we could get uh, another great vlog tomorrow. We're gonna be hiking at least like 10 kilometers and then another one as the weather starts to get better again over the next couple of days. And here's a little black cat. Not sure if that's good luck or not. Hey buddy. Hey. Oh, <laughs> nice. All right, I'll see you guys on the next video.